excited to work with you. Are we ready to shoot? Hey, Boom, make sure you're clear of the shot. Seriously, what is with this guy? Effie, you can come on set. You can sit right here. Ready? Camera? Speed. Sound? Simple's words, sound captured by the amazing Boom Guy. Episode five, take one, Mark. Action. Hello out there in video land. Welcome to another episode of Semple's Words. I'm your host, Howard Semple, and today's guest is Effie. Welcome. So Effie says here that you're almost halfway through your research project already. Congrats on that. Must be smooth sailing from here on in, right? Actually, no, it's been a disaster. You see, my project is to interview all of these teachers and administrators to see if this technique, this new intervention designed to help kids read actually works. That sounds great. What, what happened? You couldn't get enough people to interview? No, 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 the opposite. Everyone wants to interview with me. And all these interviews that I thought would only be 30 minutes long are now over an hour long. Well, that sounds great. Hold on, I'm confused. Why are you unhappy? Do you know how many pages of transcripts I need to get through? It's too much. I didn't allocate enough time in my schedule for all of this work. And plus, I wanted to come up with a coding scheme, but I don't know if I'm doing that right. You know, what if I get it wrong and I have to redo the whole thing? Oh, I okay, just... okay, okay calm, calm down. Just still seems like a good problem to have. Like, you've got so much good data. Yeah, I mean, the interviews have been amazing. I guess I'm just overwhelmed and I don't know if I'll be able to do it all in time. And what if I make a mistake? Don't worry about mistakes. You can't live your life in fear of making mistakes. You get nothing done. People make mistakes all the time. I mean, I mean, take Boom Guy here. He makes mistakes all the time. He ruins just about every episode, dropping his stupid boom in the shot. Sometimes I think he actually does it on purpose, right? Now, if he can keep his job, well, anything's possible. Actually, come to think of it, Jamie, why does he still have a job? Howard, we're rolling. Seriously, he's ruined so many episodes. I, I, I think he's made too many mistakes and he should be fired. Cut. Howard, now really is not why the time. Why not? Effie's right. Mistakes can really screw things up. It can make things a disaster. Wait, wait, wait. I was right? My project's going to be a disaster? That's not what he means. That's exactly what I mean. Boom Guy has made too many mistakes and he deserves to be fired. Fire Boom Guy! Fire Boom! Who is with me here? We can't fire him for that. Why not? Because I told him to do it. What? <sighs> Howard, sometimes you, you like to go to get off topic or, or give advice that you know sometimes isn't the best and you don't like it when I cut in the middle of your shot so I have a signal that I give to Boom Kai when I need him to interrupt you so I can cut. I'm sorry, Howard. What do you mean I sometimes give advice that isn't the best? Well, I once heard that you told a chemistry student just to mix up all the chemicals in the lab just to see what would happen. Science? It's all about the new discoveries. And you told another student that they could do research in rural Thailand without knowing the language. Isn't that why they have podcasts? You see, Effie, we all make mistakes, but Howard was right that we can't live in fear. But I'm just not sure I'm going to have enough time to finish everything. Well, you can't control everything. Research doesn't work according to some predetermined schedule, and it oftentimes takes longer than we expect. But the good news is your interviews have been solid, right? Right. Plus, you don't actually know how long it will take. My roommate told me that analyzing text and code is really slow at first, but eventually you're able to pick up on things easier and the whole process gets easier. But you won't be able to do everything, so you're going to have to learn to prioritize and move on. Hey, uh, remember when I told uh, that student to dress identical as their faculty member to impress them? Okay, maybe that wasn't a good one. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Each time you go through your data, you'll know it better. You'll get where you need to. Trust yourself. Thanks, that, that really helps. It's just all so intimidating sometimes. But you can't get caught trying to be a perfectionist. If you try to do everything perfect, you're likely to miss out on some of the important learning along the way. Yeah, life is messy. Perfectionism is just trying to pretend that it isn't. A little mess is okay, you know, uncomfortable at first, but a part of life. 
Hey, remember the time that I gave the advice for the student to exercise to relieve stress when meeting with a faculty member? Okay, so I did tell them to do jumping jacks in the faculty member's office, but the base idea was solid. I think I get it. I can't be afraid to make mistakes, otherwise I'll never know what's truly possible. Exactly. We all make mistakes. <clears throat> and Howard, I made a mistake telling Boom Guy to do that. But it wasn't his fault. Okay. Just no more secret plots. Just, just tell me I'm a reasonable guy. I will. But you make sure you don't tell any students to wear fake mustaches to go into the faculty lounge to ask them to sponsor a project. Wait, you thought that was a bad idea? Oh my gosh, I knew it was you. I knew you did. We are not through, Boom Guy. Run, Boom Guy! 